I just got done seeing Spider-Man No Way Home and it was pretty good. I think that the movie's main strengths mainly come from the story, the acting, and the villains, especially Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. Every time he appears on screen, he literally steals the show. You can really tell that he is having a ball with this role. And it's just so good that I'm entertained to see him again. Dr. Octopus is pretty good too. And I won't say anything about the other villains. Don't want to give anything away. I want you to have your own opinion about the villains. I like the conflict Spider-Man has to go through and he has to learn about sacrifice and what it means to truly be a hero. It's intriguing and fascinating and I think it's the perfect thing for Spider-Man film to talk about. What is better for the greater good and what has to be sacrificed for the greater good. Sure, some of the jokes fall flat and the CGI can look a bit cartoony at times. Still though, this is a damn impressive Spider-Man movie. My main gripe with this new trilogy is that it felt like MCU movies disguised as Spider-Man movies. But with this one though, it just feels like a pure Spider-Man movie again. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really do think that the slow burn paid off big time. Nonetheless though, this is a pretty good Spider-Man movie. It feels satisfying, conclusive, and it's just overall a blast. If you love Spider-Man, then this is definitely worth checking out. I give it a 7 out of 10, lean to an 8.